Oatmeal, you're a real stand-up guy, you know that? Uh-oh, there's a stick. What are you going to do about it? Chomp. <laughs> oh no, he's evolving. He's learning to walk. Oh no. If you're new here, Oatmeal and I travel to vacation homes with pools because we don't have one of our own. And if Mr. Meal doesn't get to swim every day, he will fight me. And I don't want to have to deal with that. Oh my gosh, look at your headband. You're such a pretty, pretty princess, Mr. Meal. I love it. Do you need a hand, my little T-Rex? That's what I thought. Ooh, a double hand. Okay, we tossed in a ring. Will he use the oat boat? Oh, look at him go. Good job, Mr. Mia. Wow, that was a good launch and completely defeated the purpose of the oat boat in the first place. Whatever. Oh, we got the full setup right here. Tennis ball tucked under the armpit. Little tiny baby cat paw dipped in the water. A little stick that he's chewing on. Life is good. Can't forget the crimpy ears. That's like my favorite golden feature. Oh, so cute. Anyways, follow to support Mr. Meal's lavish lifestyle. Um, oatmeal? I have to tell the internet what you just did. So I tossed in the ball. And at first he tries to like hype himself up to jump in and get it. But then he's like, wait a second. I'm oatmeal. I gotta do this in the weirdest way possible. To the oat boat. Oh no, disaster struck. I'm sinking rapidly. Oh good, we saved ourselves. But this is not the vibe. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, there's the ball. Just kidding, that's a different one. Now I'll cut to the original audio of this video. No, that one's mine. No, no, oatmeal, that one, no, no, that one's mine. No, oatmeal, that one's mine. That one's mine. Okay, the narrator's back. He has never jumped into my boat before. <laughs> His is made for dogs, so it can't pop. Mine can, and he's just spinning around on it. At this point, he's not retrieving the ball. He's playing Wipeout. <laughs> also, I had had an edible, which I often do when I go in the pool with oatmeal. So it took me a while to really register if this was real or if I was like, hallucinating you know like this is crazy anyways i might start doing some pool time lives because i need someone else to witness this i don't think you guys really truly realize just how weird mr meal is it isn't just editing so i might randomly start doing lives um follow us i think that will notify you how am i supposed to concentrate on work when this is happening right in front of me oatmeal i'm not gonna be able to support your lifestyle if you're so cute it's distracting me from my job Hate to break it to you. Oatmeal keeps thinking that these oranges are his ball. They're both the same shade of gray. So I posted that video back in January and there was a whole debate on what color oatmeal actually thinks the ball is. But there's a new filter that shows you colors the way that dogs perceive them. So let's settle this once and for all. Oatmeal, what color is this ball? I stand corrected. It's more of a muted yellow than a gray. It actually is kind of the same color as oatmeal. Maybe that's why he likes this ball so much. <gasps> Go get it. Are you gonna use the oat boat? I love that you can see it in the same exact color that I do. Everything else looks kind of sad. Very nightmare before Christmas. <sighs> do you need help? Do you need me to throw the ball again? Great mouth eye coordination. Every once in a while, oatmeal will like evolve a little bit more and he'll start doing something that he's never done before. First it was standing up like a T-Rex in the water. Today, it's figuring out how to paddle his oat boat so he can get closer to the ball. He's past just loving water at this point. He understands it, he feels it, he is it. I think he's been like studying currents at night or something, I don't know, there's no logical reason why he should know how to do this. And what is most hilarious is that he always ends up jumping out of the oat boat anyways. It's not even practical. It's parkour. Or bark or. Huh. <laughs> Get it? Also, anytime he's like proud of something that he did in the water, he immediately has to go find something to tear up. I think for him, it's like the equivalent of popping a bottle of champagne, you know? Like, it's celebratory. The man's proud of his performance. And honestly, he should be. Look at him holding it down with those little tiny baby cat paws. Yeah, get it, Mr. Meal. Anyways, um, hit that follow button. Ew, I hated that, sorry. Oatmeal has been getting more confident with launching himself into the pool, so let's rate some of his recent dives. Divers, take your mark. <gasps> wow, pretty solid, eight out of 10. You can do better, Mr. Meal, I know you can. Oh, <laughs> this one deserves a slow-mo replay. <laughs> Looks like your little tiny baby cat paws slipped at the last second, but this made me giggle, so I'll give it a five out of 10. Don't revenge shake on me. Ah! Not on the laptop. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for mentioning the paws. Let's go again. Okay, that one was much more solid. I feel like 
definitely a nine out of 10. Okay, last one, you ready? You're gonna cheat and use the oat boat? What am I saying? Of course you are. I think he got bored with doing regular dives and decided to add in some pageantry. This kind of out of the box behavior could certainly get Mr. Meal disqualified, but let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, technically that was a jump. Okay, I think that deserved a 15 out of 10. Good job, Mr. Meal. Also, we're doing daily pool time lives, so follow us to be notified because we do them randomly. <laughs> Oatmeal, guess what? You were featured in We Rate Dogs. You got a 13 out of 10, but I feel like we can do better. Okay, the glasses are good, but I feel like we're still missing something. That's what I'm talking about. Matching Crocs, baby. We love a mommy and meal matching moment. Now let's show off some of your skills. Go get the ball. Let me guess, you want the oat boat? How did I know? Get in position and chomp good boy mr meal did you just sup nod me whoa i'm sorry what was that <laughs> that deserves a close-up slow-mo replay <laughs> let's forget about that and go get the ball oh he's setting up the oat boat to launch himself in is he gonna do it oh no fake out guess that wasn't the vibe he's going in the old-fashioned way look at him go and he's off. In other news, it's Oatmeal's fourth birthday this Friday, and we're going to do a live stream on TikTok to celebrate. I'm going to be baking him a cake. We'll do a giveaway. It'll be a whole thing. So follow for more information. Oh my gosh, stop, Oatmeal. Your sunglasses. <laughs> I love that they're holding your little fur bangs back. This is a look. I love it. You guys, the sun's out. <laughs> The weather has been so gloomy ever since we got to LA. I haven't really been able to swim with oatmeal until now. What are you doing, a hug? Yeah. Good boy, Mr. Meal. You're just tall enough to stand up in the water. You look like that kid at daycare who like won't leave their mommy's side. <laughs> are you scared you're gonna make fun of your little tiny baby cat paws? Bad news, buddy. I'm more likely to make fun of them. <laughs> Good boy, Mr. Meal. <laughs> Go get the ball. Are you gonna get creative with this one? Will he use the oat boat? Oh, nope, just scooting it out of the way. <laughs> he couldn't reach, so we're defaulting to the oat boat. Oh no, his calculations were off. <laughs> How will he recover? And of course, he just ends up jumping in the water anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the sun. Look at Oatmeal standing ready at the door. He knows what time it is. That's right, it's pool time. Oatmeal loves diving for rings. I'm gonna toss these in. Let's see which one he chooses. I've also got my GoPro for some underwater action shots. You ready, Mr. Meal? Oh, going for blue right out of the gates. Just kidding, he dropped it. He usually goes for orange. I don't think he saw it at first. Donk. <laughs> see, here's where the dilemma comes in. He always ends up dropping it right after he picks it up. I don't know if he like forgets it's in his mouth when he goes to shake. I, I don't know. Look, see, he dropped it again. Classic Mr. Meal. Maybe he's just second guessing his decision because now he's fixated on the blue again. Oh, blue it is. Mr. Meal has made his decision. Just kidding. He's second guessing it. All of his 12 brain cells are firing at full speed right now. Um, in a shocking turn of events, he might be going for the lead. On second thought, he's very concerned with the cleanliness of his pool. So this really isn't that surprising. <gasps> but this is, at the last second, he chooses orange. I love the little wrinkle that Oatmeal gets on the top of his head whenever he's soaking wet. I'm also a fan of his crimpy ears. Does anyone else's golden get these? I also love his spiky little head and how sassy his little tiny baby cat feet look under the water. Look at him strut his stuff. Anyways, follow us. One thing about me, I'm a goggle girl because I like to play mermaids and that means I have to see underwater. What is that? Are those cat feet oh honest mistake it's just oatmeal hi mr meal oh right he can't hear me i'm underwater also his english isn't great hi stinky boy why are you pouting are you mad that you're not the center of attention sorry for stealing your spotlight princess let me launch in the oat boat so you can do your thing there you go that's what you wanted wasn't it what can i say the man loves his theatrics like mother, like son. Look how majestic he looks swimming underwater. It almost looks like he's swimming in slow motion. I'm sure it does take a lot of effort though to move all that meal meat in the water. Want to do one more jump? There you go. Good boy, Mr. Meal. I always love how the oat boat goes flying when he launches himself out. I'm so sad. We only have one more week at this beautiful house, but you guys seem to really like this content. So we're going to keep the party going. We just booked another vacation rental. Follow us for more. I love how perfectly that ball fits in your little dog mouth oatmeal. <laughs> Go get it. Let's see. Will he use the oat boat? Oh, he's thinking about it. 
Just kidding, he's going full throttle into the water. Just kidding again. <laughs> he is the most indecisive pupper I have ever met in my life. But at the same time, he's very calculated. Like he knows what he's doing. And he launches himself into the water. God forbid he do that in the first place. Anyways, let's see what happens if I jump into the oat boat. And of course he hops in too. I've never met a dog with as much FOMO as oatmeal. If he's not actively involved in whatever I'm doing, he will throw a temper tantrum. Luckily he's pretty fun to hang out with. Don't tell him I said that though. It'll go straight to his head. It was at this point that he decided to readjust and his bony butt was stabbing into my stomach. And when he commits himself to a position, he stays that way. He is almost impossible to move. He's like a little statue. Eventually, I just accepted my fate. For someone who doesn't like sharing his toys, I think Oatmeal is secretly enjoying me being his little gondola driver. Until he wasn't, and he jumped ship. Classic Mr. Meal. Oh well, more room for me. Anyways, hit that follow button. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Meal. Can I have that ball? You ready, stinky boy? Go get it. The oat boat is docked and ready to go, but will he use it? He's carefully assessing the situation, doing the calculations in his little dog head. Looks like the oat boat is the way to go. Look at him hop in there. Uh-oh, but it looks like we're beached. He tries to paddle, but to no avail. Guess all we can do is sit and stare at the ball. Looks like the narrator may need to step in for some assistance. There you go, Mr. Meal. Gotta readjust the positioning. Now we prepare for the final launch. And he's off! Chomp! <laughs> Great work out there, champ. You were unpredictable right up to the very end. How about if I throw in a frisbee? He's setting up the boat. Oh, but he got distracted with a leaf. I feel like oatmeal might also have ADHD. It would make sense why we get along so well. We'll both start one task and then end up doing something entirely different. Look at that. He either forgot about his mission entirely or he just decided he wasn't up for the challenge and settled for the ball that's already on land. Now he'll retreat to the bushes to go chow down on some mouse poop. That's a favorite pastime of his. Not if I throw a ball in the water though. See? ADHD. <laughs> also, I'm so glad you guys like the sped up swimming shots. They make me laugh so hard. <laughs> Mr. Meal, you want a ball? Go get it, stinky boy. Let's see, which will he choose, yellow or orange? Usually he goes for orange, but we'll see what happens. He's toying with the idea of using the oat boat, but will he actually use it? Who knows? Looks like he's going for the claw machine method. Oh, look at that. Finally, he's predictable and chose the color I thought he would. Wait, he's rethinking. Of course, what was I thinking? This man prides himself on being unpredictable. Now he's gonna use the oat boat? Nope. N wrong again. <laughs> Somebody recently commented asking if oatmeal is a Gemini and uh, his birthday is June 16th. So he is. I'm not really an astrology girly, but I looked it up and apparently they're very indecisive. So kind of spot on. <laughs> oh, good. He got the yellow ball. So I have two of the exact same yellow ball. What if I take this one and throw it? What will he do? And of course he's going after it. I mean, he is a retriever. I guess he's like, legally obligated to go get anything I throw. Check out the iron grip he's got on the edge of the pool. Those little tiny baby cat paws are working overtime. I think he's realized that there's no way he's gonna reach it. I think he's kind of in the process of determining his strategy right now. Um, I don't know why he went back and grabbed the orange ball that he ditched originally, but here we are. Oh, maybe we're actually gonna use the oat boat this time. Maybe he's pulling up, he's stepping in. Will he do it? Will he did, he did it! Look at him go. Oh, look at that little trade. <laughs> what a guy. What a weird little dog. Oh my gosh. I never know what he's going to do next. Someone alert the Coast Guard. Oatmeal is stranded on the oat boat. What will he ever do? How can he get himself out of this situation? A situation he's been in millions of times before. He's calculating his launch. Oh, there he goes. What a guy. You goofy dog. <laughs> Can we take a moment to appreciate, though, his top half didn't get wet at all. Pretty impressive. Shake it off, Mr. Meal. Do you want to get the shark toy? He's thinking about it. He's pondering it. He is calculating. Will he go for it? Um, apparently not. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna settle for this ring. That seems like a lot of work, especially after what I just went through. You're a man who knows what he wants and what he doesn't want. I can only respect that. Okay, a few hours later, um, he is now wearing the ring as a bracelet on his little tucked paw. You are so funny, Mr. Meal. It's a very pretty accessory though. I love it. Anyways, follow us because we travel around to various vacation homes with pools and our next stay is coming up soon.
As much as oatmeal loves to swim, he won't go into the pool unless I give him permission to, so I can leave him outside and the most he'll do is glare at me through the window and say with his eyes, open the door or I'm gonna throw rocks at your window. <laughs> I don't understand how he can be so convincing without speaking a lick of English. If you're new here, Oatmeal and I traveled to vacation homes with pools because Oatmeal convinced me to. <laughs> the man loves to swim and we've been living with my parents and they don't have a pool. So this was the only logical solution, I guess. Look at his cute little tiny baby cat paws. They're folded like he's about to tell me that he's very disappointed in me. I wonder what I did. Now that you mention it, it's probably making fun of his little tiny baby cat paws. Whoops, sorry not sorry. Look at that sassy little tail wag. You're strutting your stuff, Mr. Meal. Look at you, little short king. Aw, this angle makes your legs look even smaller. That's better. You look like a big, strong captain in your oat boat. <laughs> Anyways, follow to help me support Oatmeal's lavish lifestyle. <laughs> Oatmeal and I have been traveling to pet-friendly pools ever since January because the guy loves to swim and we don't have a pool of our own. But I've also felt like a bizarre Hannah Montana because I've kept my day job as a growth marketing consultant because somebody's got to afford this man's lavish lifestyle. So most days I'm just working on my laptop trying to ignore the fact that the weirdest possible thing that anyone could imagine is happening right in front of me. Like the time he couldn't just jump into the pool to get the ball, he had to run and use his oat boat, which he almost fell out of, which made him decide that that was not the vibe, so he jumped ship, then forgot which ball he was fetching entirely, and when he re-remembers, he hops into my floaty, the floaty that's not made for dogs. And to make matters worse, Mr. Meal starts spinning around on it, being the least gentle that he could possibly be. And after all that effort, he jumps into the water anyways. Oh, there was also the day that he randomly learned to paddle his oat boat, and then he got frustrated, so he started slapping the water. <laughs> And like all this is happening while I'm on a Zoom call. Anyways, if you want to rent a pet friendly pool, do it through Swimply. They're awesome. <laughs> I know you're wondering, so I will tell you. Here's how Oatmeal and I afforded to live in Airbnbs for the better part of seven months. And no, I don't have a sugar daddy. If anything, I have a sugar doggy. <laughs> First, a little backstory. So Oatmeal and I love to swim, but last October after a breakup, we had to move back in with my parents who didn't have a pool. Since my life was already in shambles, I was like, you know what? Why don't we just go live in Airbnbs with pools and just go ham on content creation? And so we did. And as a result, we gained over a million followers on TikTok. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram combined. We were able to actually move to LA and make content creation our full-time job. So how did we afford it? I paid for this all myself, using credit cards, mainly. <laughs> At the time, I was working as a growth marketing consultant for a wonderful brand called Honey Love, and I was also doing content creation. So like, I had money, but it was very expensive. But honestly, I just saw it as an investment opportunity into myself and my career. I was willing to give this my all, and I knew the money would follow. And I was right. <laughs> but what's really cool about being a content creator is that these were considered business trips. So my transportation, the Airbnbs, my meals were all tax write-offs. Obviously that doesn't mean it's free, but it significantly lowers the amount that I pay in taxes. So that's a win. And I want to emphasize these were not vacations. I was working nonstop to plan, edit, film, and post content all while managing travel and trying to find Airbnbs that would let a large shedding dog swim in their pool nearly every single day. I was completely alone, other than oatmeal, obviously, so I had to do all of this on my own. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. It definitely got very lonely at times, but I really learned a lot about myself and it really strengthened me and Oatmeal's bond. Thank you to everybody who has watched our videos, liked, commented, shared, all of that fun stuff. It is because of you that Oatmeal and I are able to live our dreams and it is incredible. I am so grateful. Thank you to every one of you. I know that a lot of you have been sticking around for a while. Thank you.